Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And I like to take an evidence-based approach to health and wellness topics, particularly in the realm of lifestyle medicine, weight, and obesity medicine. So thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're going to talk about a class of medications that could potentially interfere with your weight loss, if that is something that you are pursuing. And just as a caveat, as always, when I'm talking about weight loss, um, it's important to note that it's always a patient's choice. You as a patient, you never have to lose weight. It's always up to you. But if that is something that you are interested in doing, if you want to work on lowering your BMI for you, then um, this is something that may be pertinent for you um, with regards to how successful that you've been. So I want to talk today about medications for mental health because many, many patients are on these and actually they can have some effect for some people on their weight loss progress. So my goal of making this video is not to scare people or to have people stop taking medications that are helpful for them. Don't do that. But it's to raise awareness with regards to, hmm, is this interfering with my health with regards to weight loss um, and to help make them help you to make a more informed decision? With regards to mental health medications, um, certainly there are many, several that can interfere with weight loss. Um, many people are on the category known as SSRIs. So that's things like um, Prozac, Zoloft, Lexapro, um, Celexa, very commonly used class of medications. And I just tell my patients like, you know, you may gain a few pounds on these medications, you may not. Um, but if you if you gain like five pounds out of nowhere, and you're doing all the same things, let me know, I want to make sure that this medication isn't interfering with um, other things in your life. Now, for most people, if they do gain weight on these medications, it's a small amount. But the one exception is medication called paroxetine or Paxil, which is probably the most, most notorious in that class for um, causing extra weight gain. So if that is something that you are on and you've noticed, hmm, I'm having a hard time losing weight, it might be a good idea to talk to your physician about potential alternatives just because it is a very broad class of medications and I have a lot of people who are on them who don't have, who are on other SSRIs who don't have any changes in their weight at all. SNRIs are another class of medication that may have some effects. So some people who are on things like um, Effexor, which is called Venlafaxine, or um, Cymbalta, which is the brand name is Duloxetine, they may also notice that their weight changes a little or it's harder to lose weight, but certainly usually not to the same effect as somebody might notice with Paxil. Other medications in the mental health category that can contribute are things like the tricyclic antidepressants. So things like uh, amitriptyline, doxepin, and amipramine. Um, we use these medications sometimes for mood, but for a lot of other indications as well, chronic pain, migraines, um, fibromyalgia, things like that. So um, insomnia, uh, they are, they have a lot of different uses, but also good to be aware of if you feel like you're, you're not making great progress with your weight, um, there's a potential that they could be interfering. So like I said, patients have variable responses to these medications. I definitely have patients on Paxil who they have no issues with their weight. Um, I definitely have patients on um, Prozac, which is generally quite a weight neutral SSRI and they've gained weight. So everybody has a slightly different reaction to medication. So again, I bring this video up as a place for jumping off with regards to a conversation with your physician who's prescribing these. Um, and also a great way to start talking about other things you could do, because sometimes there are 
um, less weight promoting alternatives to whatever that you're currently on. Um, also, sometimes, um, depending on the medication, depending on the patient, we will co-prescribe things like metformin. So for example, if I had a patient, they couldn't take anything except Paxil, I would prescribe Paxil. And if it you know, looked like the side effect profile would be reasonable for them, I might co-prescribe metformin, which can kind of offset that um, medication-induced weight gain and potentially give them a better chance of not having that as a side effect. And then the other option is you stay on the medication because you really like it and it really works for you and the benefits outweigh the risks. Like I said, it's always 100% your choice and potentially for some patients, for many patients, the benefits uh, that the medication is providing for their mental health really do outweigh um, any potential benefits from weight loss. And for these patients also, like I said, um, we might think about co-prescribing medications such as metformin, or they may be interested in if their BMI is in the right category, that might be somebody who might be interested in also thinking about um, something like semaglutide or liraglutide for weight loss. But at the end of the day, it's always your choice as the patient. And you may just decide, you know what, this works for me. It doesn't work as well for my weight, but I'm okay with that. And that's always your choice. Like I said, this video is really just to bring up, um, you know, potential impediments to weight loss, but that really might not be your top priority. And like I said, for you as the patient, it's always your choice. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below and please be well.